Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is book reviews or book reports. What separates the two? Well, I don't split writing about books into reviews and reports. For me, it more naturally splits into the reader's subjective experience, the audience that the book might fit well with, and the technical aspects of the book, the how of it. So obviously you can write about what you like about a book, whether it was a good book from your perspective, in the sense of, did you enjoy the experience of reading it? Did, did it make you want to read a sequel if there is one? Did it make you want to read more of the author's work or more stories of that type? And that's a very personal thing that only really is of interest to other people if they share your taste. Whereas the more audience targeted description of a book would talk about whether it had a strong romance plot or not, whether or not you personally liked romance subplots. So that readers who have a strong opinion on romance, even if it's not identical to yours, can use that to decide whether this book would be enjoyable for them or not, and can give an idea of what the issues with the book are that people who aren't you might find. So this book was riddled with spelling errors. As an example, some people glitch out on a single spelling error, or if there's a straight quote rather than a curly quote, they'll be niggled by it and that will irritate them. Other people don't care. What they care about is a wonderful story and if it's got a few very niggly little errors, that doesn't bother them. So that's useful information, but how the reader uses that information to make their judgments differs by reader to reader. So that's, while still a subjective judgment, a more objective, other focused writing about the book. And third, the how the author might achieve it. Did they use particular images? Did they use one word rather than another? More of a unravel the book to determine how it works or doesn't work rather than what effect it achieves. So very useful for authors, not necessarily so useful for the average reader because usually, particularly when you're reading fiction, you're interested in the topic, the plot, you want the experience, not how that experience is created. So reading about how the experience is created involves having to then reverse translate that into the experience itself. So three topics or three approaches to writing a book. And obviously they blend because there's never going to be a situation in which you write, I didn't like this book because it had kissy face in, where that isn't going to help someone else who doesn't like romance subplots in their SAS survival handbook. And writing the repeated use of Madeleine's creates a sense of foreboding is going to be useful to readers who like 
a little bit of creepy in their car repair manual. And in the middle, obviously, if you're saying, well, the author did a good job of characterization, you're saying that you enjoyed it because it was good and the purpose of characterization is to create something that's enjoyable. So saying they succeeded means that thing stood out as enjoyable for you and so forth. So they're all a bit muddled up. So returning to the original question, potentially the dividing line is what the primary audience is. A review is a marketing, sales, outward facing thing where the person who is writing it is thinking about of the entire world, what is useful information to differentiate into groups of people who will like this book and groups of people who don't. The book report starts off with the, how did I feel about this book? But looking at Goodreads, the two very much overlap. People will write about whether a book was good or not and give a series of, I enjoyed this, I didn't like that, the plot is this, the author used imagery that I didn't get on with. So I don't think there is a hard separator. Just a, there are things that are mostly a report of personal experience and things that are mostly an attempt to describe the reader experience rather than this reader's experience. So, toodaloo!